Welcome back, beer tubers. Time to review a beer from a fairly new brewery. This is Almanac Beer Company's part of their Farm to Barrel series. This is Dog Patch Sour, batch number one. Uh, I've been able to have this on draft and really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a seven and a half percent ale brewed with cherries, Asian white wine barrels, or, or sorry, just it says wine barrels. Um, they uh, they're doing a Flanders style red ale and they're adding a uh, juicy California cherries and then they're using a blend of San Francisco sourdough and wild brewer's yeast. So uh, very interesting beer, a new brewery, they're doing only barrel aged beers. It pours out a pretty dark uh, orange actually, more of a burnt orange color than a red. Uh, the, the little bit of head on there is uh, like slightly off white. As soon as I pop the top on this you can smell it coming out of the bottle. So let's get the aroma in the glass. Yeah, it, it smells great. Uh, very vinous. You get the cherries, uh, no doubt. Uh, the white wine barrels come through big time. A little bit of oak tannin. Smells very tart. Uh, a little bit of uh, lemony uh, tartness coming from probably some wild yeast. A little bit of a Brett Funk underneath. Uh, you know, more of that sort of uh, almost barnyardy. It's got the more of a wet hay though character to it. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty mild smelling in the sense that it's not overly like vinegary, it's not uh, or acetic, which is nice. Very pleasant aroma on this one. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, it's just really nicely done beer. It's not overly sour. It's not overly acetic. It's not too much wine character. It's not too much cherry character. Uh, it's a very nicely balanced beer. So up front you're hit with the sourness. It's a pretty fairly sour beer. Uh, good tartness. Uh, you're getting that cherry character uh, that kind of transitions from being tart into slightly sweet. So it goes along with some of that lemony tartness. Um, you know, a little bit of that, like I mentioned, sweetness in the middle of the beer and then it dries out in the finish. Uh, you start to pick up some of that white, or not white wine, but uh, just general probably red wine. Probably a mix of wine barrels actually, but um, some of that wine character comes through, that, the, the grape character on the finish along with some of those tannins. Uh, you get a little bit of that sort of uh, almondy kind of nuttiness. I, I assume they're using whole cherries, I don't know for sure, but I'm detecting a little bit of that. I'm not sure if that's maybe also coming from the barrels, could be too. You know, that ever slight little like vanillin uh, nuttiness. Then on the finish, you, you really get some lingering funk character. Some of that barnyard funk, hay-like funk. Uh, kind of lingers around with some of that cherry character coming back. Uh, a touch of that, that wine character as well. So this is really, really well done example of style. Really enjoy this one. Uh, beautiful balance to the beer. Great complexity. Um, it, it's, I, it's not quite as sour as I remember when I had it on draft, but it's kind of got everything I want to look for in a, this type of a American take on the style. It's got the tartness. It's got the the, the sourness, it's got the funk to it. It's kind of everything I like in a nice wild ale. And uh, the fruit is not overpowering, it adds a nice touch of complexity. So, uh, very cool ornate bottles they have as well from Almanac. They're up in San Francisco, up in Northern California. So, highly recommend Dog Patch, Patch Sour. Uh, looking forward to future batches. And uh, check out some of their other beers if you can. I don't know what their distribution is. Definitely all of California or most of California is getting it. So, uh, yeah, they're doing some exciting beers. Highly recommend them. So for me, Dog Pitch Sour gets an A. Excellent example of style. I'm looking forward to what they're doing next. Uh, they've already done some great beers, so get them if you can. Recommended. Uh, they're not terribly expensive. They're like slightly cheaper than the Russian River Sour, so just a heads up on that, but I think it's worth the price. It's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.